Welcome back to Behind the Z Scenes with Exile and Grumville. So let me just go back to the start. This map here. So map three. Okay, this is the first cave where you get the sword. And um, let's see right here. You get Misk 1. You get a cat, which is nothing. Uh, the, the items Misk 1 and Misk 2 in 2.10 and previous is basically nothing. But here you can edit them and, and switch it to whatever you want in 2.5, so. Anyway, here, the guy will give you Furore's Wind, which is... That's not completely useless. It's, it's kind of useful if you don't want to use F6 in your quest, or when you're playing, I guess, if you think F6 is cheating. Anyway, so, hit the button, go across there, and then only one of these buttons is real. That one, go across, and go over here, hit the button. And then go up and get your sword here. Sword wooden. So this is just special item, I believe. Yeah. And then there's one screen I haven't been to down here. So magical Octorox and a Triforce piece. So you need to get the flippers before you can get this Triforce piece, but I give sort of a hint when you get the flippers. It says something like, uh, go find another Triforce piece. I have a slashing suspicion that you'll find it in a slash. Or, it says a bunch of like stab and strike and slash and stuff like that. So anyways, okay, just layers there. Okay, this is Dr. Obey. This is where you get the bow and arrows, so... Um, let me just see the message string here. So, he's gonna ask you a bunch of questions, and let me get rid of the layers here, so you can just see what it's like. Actually, let's get rid of the first layer here. I think one of them is Link. I think 333 is Link, actually. Oh, so it's just Link and the crowd, I guess. That, that's what goes away. And then just the background here, Dr. Bay. Take that away. So, you start out right here. He'll ask you a question. He'll say, you know, how many fingers am I holding up? And he'll give you a choice between 2 and 37. So, uh, if you want the good item, pick 37. If you want the regular arrows, instead of the golden or silver arrows, pick 2. So, I believe the right answer, let's see. Whatever the right answer is, it will take you to see that one's 1-2, one, so yeah, they'll take you to the good one, and then the side warp will take you to 2-2, two, two. so if you got a good answer, it will take you straight across like this, and if you can go all the way straight across, then you'll get the golden arrows. If you get one wrong, it will take you down one, so this line will give you silver arrows, if you get another one wrong, it will take you down to the 30 row here, and you also get the silver arrows, get another one wrong from this line, it'll take you down here to the 40 row, and you'll get the regular arrows. I'll just show you. So screen, let's see, towel warp, or is it side warp? Side warp, I guess, is the right answer. So here, let's see, catch-all is the golden arrows. Okay. So the catch-all here will be silver arrows, and the catch-all here will be wooden arrows. So this one, you get the right answer, it'll take you to the silver arrows, get the wrong answer, it'll still take you to the silver arrows. Uh, this one, get the right answer, silver arrows, wrong answer, regular arrows. Let me just make sure. Let's see, 55 and... Oops. 53! And then this one will take you to 55, regardless. I think this... I think this screen is actually just, um... St you start over some stairs anyways. Oh, it stairs either way, so... Yeah, you'll get the wooden arrows. So that is Dr. Obey. That's how that works. Uh, this is Bill's Boomerang. This is the boomerang, magical boomerang minigame. So here, uh, this is just, I believe, combo cycling. Let's see, 580. 580, where is that? Right here. Let's see. 580, so this is just combo cycling, you know, co combo cycle to this, and to this, and to this, and to this, and to this. So then, it gives you a screen like this, and there's a, uh, let's see, a 
time warp here, so 1.6 seconds. And then it'll go over here, and you have to find where the Glia or the Goria was, which is right here. So it's the same over here. Right there. So you have to hit him with your boomerang, and then you get 5 seconds to do it. So, yeah, 300, and it starts with this combo. So the reason I use combo cycling here instead of... I think here I tried to use um, just animated combos. The reason I used combo cycling instead of this is because when you enter the screen, it's kind of random where this animation will start, so sometimes it might start like 3, 2, 1, and then it'll go back to 5, 4, so that doesn't make any sense. So here, um, no matter what, it'll start at 5. It might start partway through the 5, but this is only half a second long, so... Um, you know, you're only going to be off at most half a second, so it's a lot better to do it that way. So this is, uh, as you can see, it is 2 frames, 15 speed, so that means half a second. Just times 15 by 2, and you get half a second. Same thing here, and then it goes to 4, and then each one is the exact same, basically. And that will just appear up there, and... Same thing over here, except here the uh, so the timed warp is less, it's shorter, so each time you go the time warp will be shorter and shorter. And this really isn't a difficult minigame, I mean, you should be able to finish it the first time. So it's not difficult at all. Anyway, here is the Batcave, the evil, evil, evil Batcave. And here's another uh, room with a uh, boss trigger. So enemy flags, dungeon boss, enemy secrets. And the edit, oops, not really tight. Enemies here are trigger and then the keys. So once you hit the trigger, then because the trigger's at the top, uh, you always want the trigger at the top of the enemy list. But since that trigger will go off, the keys will go away. So anyway, you go around here, and there's some buttons you have to push in certain orders. You have to push that one here. Uh, here, you can kind of barely see it, but here's another cracked block that you need to slash, and it will give you a key. So you see, key, normal key. So some people miss that. Uh, here's the button that you press. So if you look at the enemies here, trigger, and then um, go screen data. Dungeon boss and enemy secrets. So that will affect that first screen over here. Oops, over here. So then you just go around. Here's another uh, sort of uh, being a dick staircase, I guess. You have to. There's a bunch of bats here. You think, okay, I'll kill them and then push this block, which is push weight. But when you push it, this staircase will go away, as you can see. Super combos, miss, yeah, it'll turn into that. So kind of a dick move and then over here is a block puzzle so the only ones you can push are these four these four blocks this is push right once I believe and this one's push left once I believe and then this these two are push four way uh, continuous or whatever it is so you can push it four way as many times as you want and then as you can see the ground here is different so these are the uh, block triggers so then once you hit that this 16 will go away, this block here will be activated, and you can get down to the stairs. And the 67 is just uh, no push block, so you won't be able to push a block onto the staircase and screw yourself over. And down there is another key, or the other key that you'll need. So down here, kill the enemies, get a heart container, use your key, kill the enemies here, get another heart container, use your key, and then up here you learn slash. Oops, room type, learn slash. Okay, let's go to the next map here. Oh, this is the key cave. Okay. So, um, so what I did here, I didn't want, basically, this is where you use all the secret keys in the game, and there's nine of them you need to use here, so you'll end up with one extra. But I didn't want to, ha well, I didn't want you have to have to go through nine rooms using keys in every room. That would just be too long and tedious, so, um, what I did is, let's see, combo 778, let's find that. Ah, oh, passed it. 
Oh, here we go. So this one is just none, and then this one will be a direct warp. So once you use the key here and step on the direct warp, it'll take you to the next screen right here. And then it'll take you over here, then here, then here. So that way you can just go through one room and use all the keys. And then once you go, uh, let's see, where's the fifth one? Okay, so right here. Okay, so once you go here, you can go in here and get the flippers. So here you get the flippers, special item room. And then it'll take you to the sixth one right here, and then I block this off just so you can't go back into that room because it'll kind of screw up the side warp that I need over here. So if you need to go back, there's a side warp that will take you back to the first screen. And so that's why this screen connects to this screen because I need the side warp over here. Although in 2.10, or I, sorry, in 2.5, you can make two side warps, so here you set side warp A, and then you click over here, B, so then you just set side warp B there, so that's one thing that was made easier in 2.5. They also do that with tile warps, too, so tile warp, you can set up A, you can set up B, you can set up C, you can set up D, but if you want to set up a tile warp A, for example, from a direct warp, let's say... Uh, you need to specifically make this combo direct warp B instead of A. So you can have four different uh, tile warps on a screen. Or actually you could have as many as you want, really. And you can do that in 2.10 as well. I do that in this quest later, but I'll show you how to do that in 2.10. But it's a, it's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, but anyways, let's just go up here. So this is the last key. Take you up here, and this is where you get all the awesome items. So down here... Ma Stupid autosave, mirror shield over here, master sword up here, golden arrows over here, Nehru's love, and up here the golden ring. So I reward you for finding all those secret keys. I think that's one of the, I guess, unique points of this quest is that you have secret keys and they give you really, really good stuff. But you, you don't need this stuff to finish the quest. I did a let's play of War of the Lost World and I just basically beat the whole game with the red ring, magical sword, that's the most you'll come up with without going through this, and then I did all the secrets after I finished the game. Okay, so let's go to map four. Uh, not a lot over here. Let's see, what is this? Oh, these are just layer screens from the overworld, so never mind. Actually, if I go back to the overworld, um, where's the lake? Yes, yeah, so over here, the raft path. This actually goes through here, so this is all water, and then over top is layers of this stuff. So this is on a layer screen, I believe. Let's see, layers, yeah, 4, 5, A. So get rid of that, this is what it looks like. But since the layer is there, it kind of looks like you're going under the waterfall through here. I don't know, they look kind of nice, so. And that goes out on the way to the next dungeon, which, let's see, is it over here? I'll go through that later. Yeah, this is the next dungeon, so this is the Diseased Cave. So you go in from here. Over here it tells you you need the Magical Shield from the Parappa the Rapper Palace, and it takes you over here, so the statues just fire at you for a while. There's a Time Dwarf, which will take you to the next screen over here, where they... More statues, and then it'll take you over here, and then it'll take you to... Get a key. So then you just come back. Uh, this side warp takes you back over to this screen and then up here. Uh, this is where you need the boomerang to get another key. So you hit the Goria statue here with the boomerang and then the bridge expands. And then you enter here. This is actually a side warp, I believe. So it takes you down here and it puts you right there. So as you can see, you're blocked off. So these will go away when you defeat all the enemies. Okay, so this is the main part of the disease cave. If you go up here, there's a message that says just the way the Grooves like it, so that's a reference from the Zork games. And Grooves are creatures that reside in the dark, and if, it, if, you, if you're in a room where the lights are turned out, they basically come in and eat you and kill you. So here, 
uh, there's a time dwarf, 720 seconds, and, or 726 ticks, so I think it's 6 seconds, so you need to light these torches, which uh, make stairs appear, which take you to some screen. Otherwise, the side warp will take you to death. It's just a room with four heart damage combos everywhere. So you die if you stay in that room too long. Okay. Otherwise, it will take you over here, I believe, and then up here. Oops. And then if you, let's see... Side warp down. There must be... Huh. Okay, there are stairs at the edge of the screen, so it will take you to the boss here, which is a Gleok. Get the heart container, and then you will get out. But anyways, um... So you need the boss key to go in here. This takes you to the Lost Village over here. This is where you get the red candle. And then there's a woman who taunts you with a gold ring, but that's not where you get the gold ring. Obviously, I showed you where it was. Okay, so then up here, we have sort of a system of caves. These are all overhead combos. So this is very, very confusing. Even for me, I, I really don't know why I did this. This is really a jerk move, I guess. But anyway, you need to make your way through here, hit the switch, it will remove this... Oops. This rock right here, go back, and then up here, and you get a key. So, let's see, over here, there's a raft path. Is that really all the flags? Oh, I could swear... How did I do this? I could swear I put an over-under here. But it's all just... Huh. I don't know. Did I make a duplicate screen? I don't think I did. Okay, so somehow... <laughs> you walk through here, it's all overhead. That's really weird. Oops. No. What am I doing? So... Huh? I could swear I put, like, a uh, over or under, but anyway, so... You raft across here, but then if you walk this way... It should be overhead the whole way. Oh, I see. These are layers. Okay, I layered it then. 302. There we go. So... So yeah, you just walk across and then it will take you down here. So I see, the waterfall is right here, so that's why. You can just raft across and then... But if it's water... Oh, it's not walkable, so... It is walkable, so you can just walk across. I see. I see that's what, how I did it. <laughs> okay, I forgot for a sec, but anyway, you raft across here. And then there's a junction right here. Go down here. Then there are some blue dark nuts, and this is another secret key. This screen doesn't appear on the map, so... Yeah. So go across here, get another key. And then over here is a Triforce piece, but... Uh, it's actually a side warp, which will take you to this screen. Slash the wind or the wizard rope statue will take you back over to this screen here. Kill the blue wizard robes and you get a triforce piece. All right, so uh, just another trigger there, and then this takes around down here where you get the boss key, and that takes you to where the underground village is, where the red candle is, so you can light the torch, fight the boss, and then it will take you back out to the screen above this on the overworld. So. That's it for this episode of Behind the Z Scenes. I will see you next time for more Warrior of the Lost World.